from a station working for you. This is a WRTV update. I'm WRTV's Mark Mullins with this news update. There's been another increase in newly reported cases of COVID-19 in Indiana. Our moving daily average of new cases at the highest it's ever been in the pandemic. 1,488 new positive tests were reported today, along with 15 additional deaths. Since the coronavirus first began spreading in Indiana, 3,515 people have died with the virus. Indiana State Capitol Police are looking for an arson suspect. They believe the person seen here set a fire inside the IMAX parking garage at White River State Park last Sunday, October 4th. That fire happened around 545 in the evening. They were captured on surveillance, starting the fire in a large trash bin next to the public entrance. If you have any information, call Crime Stoppers at 317-262-TIPS. The owner of a wildlife park whose animals were recently confiscated and moved to the Indianapolis Zoo has been arrested while on the run. The Clark County Sheriff's Office says Tim Stark was taken into custody in Washington County, New York. That's near the state capital of Albany. A warrant for Stark's arrest was issued last month over the treatment of his animals at his Wildlife in Need Park in southern Indiana. He's also accused of threatening a deputy state attorney general who was inspecting the park earlier this year. Stark was among those featured in the Netflix documentary series Tiger King. Few clouds around tonight. We'll call it comfortably cool with temperatures generally in the 50s. Couple of upper 40s there around Peru, Logansport and Kokomo. As we check out the seven day planning forecast, temperatures warming up again Friday and Saturday. We'll have highs right around 80 degrees. Small chance for some showers as we get into Sunday and a little cooler next week. Kyle, thank you. And keep a tab open on WRTV.com for all of our latest content and forecasts. I'm Mark Mullins. Thanks for being with us.